All right. Give it a second. Gustavo, what's up? How we doing? Hey, be more. What's up, John? Hi, Cameron. Alex, what's up, Tyler? <laughs> why is everyone? Why do you mean I look exhausted? I am exhausted. But hi, Charlie. Hi, Isaac. Vince, Zachary, what's going on? King, yeah, I'm answering questions. Cold water, what's up? Hello, Madeline. Hi, Poppy. Tony, Craig, what's going on? Scott, what's up? Sabo. Hey, Nick from Tewksbury. What's up, Dan's Dailies? Family is good. How's your family? Hello, Daniel. Doing great, Madeline. How are you doing? Can I bring out the Hooters outfit? I don't know if anyone wants to see that. Ah, oh, Daniel from Burlington. Nice. What's up, Jack? How you feeling? Hi, Austin. So I'll say hi to everyone here for a minute, and then we'll get into questions. Hello, Michael. Doing well, Frank. How are you? Hi, Mac. Everyone, while we're waiting for everyone to get in here, everybody do me a favor. Give the video a thumbs up real quick. Or like the, like the video, I should say. Hi, son. The Red Wings are now affiliated with the Nats, huh? What's up, old taco? Good, Jack. I made a video on the Cano situation. What's with my hair? I don't know, my hair is just kind of a mess right now. What's up with your hair? Yeah, I got all the MVPs right, thank you. And the Cy Youngs, I won four for four of my picks. Everyone was yelling at me in my videos that I didn't know what I was talking about, but don't have a hat today. I have heard of Zach Ample. I think that's how you say it. Never met him, but I know who he is. I play a little bit of Madden. I dabble in it. Yeah, San Diego is an exciting team to watch this year. No doubt about it. I like pancake gloves. More of the mic'd up games. Well, I can't do them because we don't have any games right now, but I am not watching UFC right now, no. Uh, I think Mike Trout is. Have I been to Amarillo, Texas? Uh, I don't know. I've been to a lot of places in Texas. You play for the Junior Spinners? Nice. The quality is bad? Why? It's not working very well right now? How's the quality for everybody? Is it working okay? I think my internet's pretty strong here, so. Um, I did pitch when I was young. I pitched all the way till college. Choking up with two strikes? Yeah, I don't, I mean, there's some players that do it, but. Um. I never personally did it because, um, well, I shouldn't say that. One year they made me do it with the Padres. They, they made me do it for a little bit, but I think you get comfortable with the bat in your hand a certain way. So it doesn't always make sense for everyone to switch with two strikes, you know? Like if you're used to hitting one way with a bat, and then you say, you know, you like the feeling of the knob resting on the certain spot of your hand. And then all of a sudden you change that for two strikes. I think that can um, mess with some players. Some players like it. So I don't think it should be. Uh, I, I got upset when I was with the Padres because they said. They tried to tell you, like, you're going to strike. You're going to choke up. You're going to choke up. You're going to choke up. You don't have to choke. up, And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm fine with the shift. Go White Sox. I did not play in the Little League World Series, no. I did play in the World, in the uh, Babe Ruth World Series, though. Our team made it three years in a row, 13, 14, and 15 year old years to the Babe Ruth World Series. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. I hope we have baseball this spring, but I guess it'll all depend on what happens over the next few months. I haven't played the show against anyone in a while. Oh, Lars, come down to join us for a live session. Can I have one of those apples? Throw it to me. I can make some catching videos for you. My favorite team, I don't really have one. When I was 12, I hit 20 home runs between Little League and the All-Stars. I think I hit, I think I hit 16 or 17 in, in Little League my total year, and then I hit like three, three or four in um, all, uh, Little League All-Stars, so 20 total. I don't think um, I don't think Kevin Nash is dumb. I think he's a pretty good manager. I think anyone managing in the major leagues is probably is not dumb. Um, they make may make a decision here and there that people don't agree with, but most people think that they can manage a team better than the managers and my experience and most pe players most people think they can play better than the players so a lot of teams need bauer my favorite clubhouse story um i don't know i got i got a lot of them um brian giles usually stories that revolve around brian giles were my favorite stories. Um, where do you think Francisco Lindor will go? Well, I know there's been talk about possibly the Mets. Um, I don't know, I think all the big market teams are gonna have a chance. Maybe the Dodgers, that'd be unbelievable. Hey, Evan, Evan, I always mess up your last name. Sather, Sather, Sather. Thank you so much for the super chat, Evan. I'm just gonna call you Evan. When you played for the Padres, did you ever meet any of the local San Diego celebs, such as Tony Hawk and Ray Mysterio Jr.? Uh, I did not. Uh, I'm trying to think of some, like, local. Um, so I met a couple of Chargers players. They'd come in the clubhouse every now and then. Uh, who else came in? That was really it. I wasn't there long enough. Um more of like the local legends were like Padres legends, like Tony Gwynn, Dave Winfield. Where's George Springer gonna go? I don't know, I like George Springer a lot though. Did I play with LeBron James? Yeah, LeBron James learned everything he knows about basketball from me. Dodgers could be going after Arenado. I saw that. Never met Steve Garvey. Nope. What's that? Dodgers are possibly looking to trade for Nolan Arenado. Was it hard to hit a home run? Yeah. Uh, well, it depends on what level. I mean, in the Little League, it wasn't hard to hit a home run, but every time, every level after that, it was. College, it wasn't too hard my junior year, but. Minimum 60 time for a JV team? I have no idea. Um, I don't think there is a minimum time because it depends on your position and yeah, I know. I have to shave and get a haircut tonight. As you can tell, I haven't cut my hair in quite some time. Why are balls hit off the foul pole counted as fair? It's a great question. I don't have the answer for you. Why isn't it called the fair pole? Uh, Bauer to the Reds. I mean, possibly. I, I, I'm, it sounds like he likes it there, and I know that he you know, has a, a pretty good relationship with some of the pitching guys there. And, but I think somebody's going to offer him a lot of money. How can I tell if a high school player is capable of going D1? Um, 
I think just from watching, I've watched so many high school players and I've watched so many guys go on to play college and I've seen some guys that don't that when I watch them, I can just kind of tell. It's hard to say specifically what it is, but you just, your eyes get used to seeing, you know, what goes on to play and what doesn't. So, Yeah, I can do some more catching videos for you. Why don't they call the foul pole the fair pole then? Who am I? I'm just some random guy. <laughs> just some random guy. Trey Turner's pretty good, yeah. I, I have Camwood Bass, yep. Did I have difficulty switching from high school to college? with the bat change. Um, my high school was actually wood bats. So it was actually easier to go from high school to college for me. Is 17 home runs good for Little League? Sure. It sounds like a lot. I don't think Bauer will be back with the Reds, no. The best player I've ever seen? Um, well, I mean, I've played against some Hall of Famers, so... I would say, I would say, um, I know who Lars is, but I would say Manny Ramirez. Most impressive player I saw. I mean, he went deep like every game against us. Burlington. Well, towns can be funny. Sometimes towns aren't good at baseball, and then all of a sudden they are, and sometimes vice versa. I mean, I, I grew up in Peabody, and our team was loaded. And there's some years that Peabody's really good, and some years that Peabody's not very good. Yeah, it stinks. Gordon Hayward left for basically nothing. So we signed Tristan Thompson, though, a few minutes ago. So you got that. Yeah. I was hoping, what I thought was going to happen, what I was hoping is that we were going to do a sign and, a sign and trade with uh, the Pacers and get Miles Turner. That's what I was hoping for. Swamp's got mass, yeah. Oh, we have a super chat, guys. Hold on one sec. I've got a super chat that I missed. Emery, HVAC. Thank you so much for the super chat. Matt A, Hall of Fame 2024. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Stop bad habits like rolling over and not staying low. Yeah, sure. Rolling over as a hitter because I have a lot of those videos. How do I control the ball when you pitch? Well, it could be, I mean, there could be something mechanically that is causing you to not have command. Um, it could be mental. It could be a little bit of both. Um, easy way is when you're training, train with the target so you have feedback. Um, that way you can make adjustments, but... It's hard to say without really seeing you. Community text things? I don't even know what that is, but... What gloves should you get your dad, Jack? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm always a fan of Rawlings gloves, but... Oh, we got a super chat, everybody. Let's see. Mac Camp, thanks so much for the super chat. Do you think the nervousness and pressure made you not reach your full potential when you mentioned the first ground that you ever got, you were nervous. Um, I don't know. I would say most players have nervousness. Um, so like, I don't think, I think people assume that really good players don't get nervous when they do get nervous. Certain players get more nervous than others, but I've played with a lot of really good players that have talked about how nervous they've been during games. I talked to one player um, that played like, I don't know how long he played in the big leagues, 12 years maybe. And he used to talk about how he was like extremely nervous every single day game of his career. Like he said he was cl so nervous that he almost was like, couldn't play the game. And he played really well for a long time. So, um, So 
So being nervous and then being scared are probably two different things. It's, I mean, I've coached a lot of kids that seem like they get so worked up that they are scared to play the game. How should the back leg look? I can't really show you right here, but um, I have some videos on the back leg on, on our YouTube channel, I believe. Do I coach? I do coach, yeah. Who's the oldest player I ever played with? Uh, Matt Stairs was pretty old, I think, when I played with him. Greg Maddox was pretty old when I played with him. Those might have been the two oldest. Off-season throwing program for a 10-year-old? Uh, it would take a while to go through, I guess, a whole off-season program, but I would suggest... Uh, it's a hard question because I don't know what he's done so far or what his offseason looks like and all that. But I would take a little bit of time off, actually. Um, and then, this is a hard question. I don't even know if I can answer this question. Um, our guys throw, you know, our guys throw twice a week with us in the off season. I'd like them to throw more, but. Uh, in the winter, you know, with facilities and stuff, it can't. Sometimes you can't. But we recommend our players throw in the off season at least three times a week. They got to throw on their own. We have a super chat. Thank you so much, Vincent. Vincent, I'm gonna try to say your last name. This could be tough though. Vincent Kosserdesky. Kosserdes. <laughs> Vincent, thank you so much for the super chat, Vincent. Um, hey, man, big fan. Thank you. How big potential do you think Mike Ostremski has to become a Hall of Famer? Whoa. So if you guys didn't know, Mike Ostremski actually went to my high school. I went to his high school, I should say, St. John's Prep. And, uh, man, to be a Hall of Famer, you got to put a long career together. Now, he's, he's playing amazingly well, but he also didn't make his debut until he was older. So he would have to really play well for a long time. So I would say it's going to be pretty hard, but what a career he's had. It's been um, a lot of fun to watch. Um, Moises Flores, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, you just sent me a banana? <laughs> well, thank you. Van Vliet, four years, $85 million to return to Toronto. Will the Dodgers repeat in 2021? Well, I think it's really hard to repeat, obviously, but... I think they're loaded, and uh, I think that they're going to go out and keep spending money and keep getting guys. So, hey, thanks for binge watching our videos. Uh, is exit velocity a big factor for college scouts? Well, I don't think it's like an end all be all, but you need someone to hit the ball hard. Like, it's hard to be really good if you can't hit the ball hard. So, yeah, I, I think it is, but it's not like they're also judging the swing, they're judging. Um, you know, uh, just your your at bats. What pitches you're swinging at? Which pitches you're not swinging at? Um, are you squaring the ball up? Are you swinging and missing? When you square it up, do you hit it hard? How often do you hit it hard? You know, it's not always just about how hard you hit it, but how often you hit it hard is more important. So, yeah, I'm an alligator hunter, Glenn. That's right. <laughs> Endorse the Bat Bros YouTube channel. Tell them to reach out to me. Maybe we can do some videos together. I don't think Tyler Glass now is overrated. No, I think he's really good. I think, what was it, last, this past year his numbers weren't great. The year before was it that he was nasty? So, you know, I think he has great stuff, and then you expect him to just dominate all the time, and he didn't do that this year. So how good was our high school hockey team? We were pretty good. We weren't, like, unbelievable. But um, my senior year we were pretty good we ended up losing our state's kind of weird we do a super eight which is a top eight teams we played in that we actually got knocked we had to play a playing game we lost so then we went to the regular state championship and we lost in the uh was it the finals or the super semifinals i don't remember it was it was at um the garden so my favorite player to watch when i was a kid was manny um, I have some videos on how to email college coaches, I believe. I bat righty. Uh, is a DH Hall of Fame worthy? I think they are if they are amazing, obviously, at offense. Um, 
you know, they've got to be, they've got to really mash. My son keeps saying to not let his front elbow go up. Well, your front elbow isn't going to go down. It's not going to go up like this, but your, your lead arm is going to work up. So hopefully that helps. Most pop popular bat. Um, I actually don't pay attention. I'm really bad with some of those things. Like I don't pay attention to what bats everybody's swinging. What do you think the prospects of a 2021 grad getting a scholarship at D1 or D2 given the huge backlog? It is a backlog. It is, it is a kind of a mess in college recruiting right now. And I feel kind of bad for all the 2021 um, players because this is... I mean, I've been doing recruiting now since 2013. And uh, thank you, Moises. You sent me a hot dog this time. You're, I'm getting hungry. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's really – I feel bad for the players because it's crazy how I've talked to so many coaches who, one, like coaches have been like furloughed. They can't even like – they're not even recruiting, some of them. Two, um, so many schools are just – unsure of what the future looks like they have so many players coming back they don't know who's coming back they it's just craziness they can't even get out to watch you so it is a nuts time for recruiting that's right Juan there is a lot of good players around the country that are just like I don't know one day we'll go back to normal hey thanks Mike I mean you could miss two years of high school if you're 2021 you could Was I ever tempted to move to warm weather state to live in? Uh, yeah, I talk to my wife all the time about moving to Florida. <laughs> but I won't be moving to Florida because I have a business in Massachusetts. And my kids go to school. Well, I guess we could move, move to Florida and have kids go to school here. Hey, Glenn, thank you for that. Is that a hamburger, Glenn? Maybe a, what is that, a cheeseburger, hamburger? Um, I actually don't like cheeseburgers. I like hamburgers, but... Yeah, I watch college baseball as much as I can. I'm usually really busy, but uh, is college over-recruiting a problem? It is at certain schools, yeah. I've seen some schools, that are like, I look at the roster, and I'm like, you got 70 guys on your roster. Like, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> so you got to be careful with that. Why am I not wearing my mask <laughs> in my house? How much do I curl? Uh, not much. Do I talk to any of my past teammates anymore? Uh, yeah, I keep in, co in contact with some of them. Um, Jack, if there are electronic umpires, then yeah, I think it will definitely af uh, affect the receiving part of the game because I don't think it is as important anymore, but... Favorite stadium that I played in? Probably Petco. I did play in Fenway, not a major league game, and a triple-A game, which was pretty cool. Yeah, buddy. Uh, mommy's bringing it up. <laughs> this, is my this is my quarantine hairstyle, yeah. I do have kids. I have two kids. Here's one of them. You want to say hello? No. Go ahead. Say hello to everyone. Not that <laughs> Okay. He's supposed to be in bed. He was in bed. Why are you up? I was getting me a her dog. Oh, okay. Good night. Good night. Daniello, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Matt. Lay Champion. Hey, what's going on? From Twitch. Are we going to see your son's road to the show soon? Also, do you still play on Twitch? Um, I have not played on Twitch in months and months and months because baseball is so busy. Um, the only way you'll see me back on Twitch again is possibly if we have another lockdown and I can't go to work for three months like I couldn't last time.
why is their bedtime so early? 6 p.m. seems early. Well, you're assuming that everyone lives on the West Coast, which they don't. No problem. Thank you for the super chat. Opinion on 12 of you coaches that can't even swing a bat. Well, um, I, I mean, I've had some coaches that weren't good players and were good coaches. Um, I do think there is something to be said for being able to show players, especially young players. So if you can't swing, I mean, you could show a lot of video. So You know, um, I get asked that a lot. Like, I've made videos on this. People say to me sometimes, like, why should people listen to you about your coaching? Like, you weren't even that, you weren't even good in the major leagues. If only Hall of Famers could coach, there'd be no coaches because there's not many Hall of Famers that want to coach. Um, you know, so. I do not live in San Diego, no. What age should you start lifting weights? Um, I don't know. I've thought about this. Uh, players are lifting earlier and earlier. I didn't lift until I was like 16 probably. Um, but definitely players are lifting earlier than that now. I'm not sure the right answer for this. Uh, I am not an expert when it comes to that. My favorite staff for an offensive player? Um, to keep it simple, probably OPS on base plus slugging. You could look at like OPS plus if you want now. I know there's like uh, well, weighted runs created plus and all this stuff. I mean, I think if a guy's getting on base and slugging, then that's all I need to know. Sixty-five to seventy for a thirteen-year-old. Yeah, that's probably about. That's probably pretty good. My favorite sport besides baseball is football and basketball, but probably football. Football is number one. Uh, I played against Russell Martin. I don't know him. All right, everyone, do me a favor, real quick. We got to get to over a hundred thumbs up on this video. Everyone, give a thumbs up, real quick. I'd appreciate that. My best locker room memory? Um, man, I've had a lot of locker room memories. Oh, thanks, everyone. Went to 120 thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, one of my favorite memories was, I told this story once in a video. Um, my buddy, Way LeBlanc, we're sitting in the clubhouse and uh, he came back to me. <laughs> There's a player in our team that is, was a very, very, very good player and Wade wanted his autograph. And uh, he said, I'm gonna go get his autographs uh, on a ball. So he went and asked him and he came back and he showed me the ball. And uh, the ball said F U, the actual word, not F U, but F U Hick. And then it had the player's signature. And Wade was like, what am I supposed to do with this? I asked him for his autograph, and this is what he wrote on the ball. Jake Peavy? Jake Peavy was a good teammate. I wasn't around him enough because I wasn't up long enough. But Jake Peavy was a really nice guy. I was, um, when I was really young, before I even got called up to the major leagues, I'd just been drafted. Uh, I'll get to your super chat in one second. Hold on one sec. So I got drafted and uh, the team had me out to San Diego to like work out with the team and start to meet the team and stuff. And uh, uh, another player on our team, Chad Huffman, who was one of my good buddies, we were eating at a hotel. Uh, we were eating at a restaurant in the hotel right next to the stadium. And uh, Jake Peavy was sitting there. He was eating with his grandfather. And um, you know, we, had no we knew him, but we didn't know him super well. We hadn't been called up yet. And uh, when our bill came, he walked over to the waitress and gave her his card and said, "There, I, I got all their their meal." And uh, I was like, "Wow, that was really nice of him." Like, he doesn't even know us really, um, but he was a really, really nice 
super nice guy. Let's see. Super chat. I got a super chat. J Jahan? Jahan? Sorry, I, I'm horrible at names. Uh, thoughts on going the Juco route? So the Juco route, we've had some players go to the Juco route. I think um, the Juco route is good for for a bunch of players, depending on what you're looking for. Like some players like to go, some players will go Juco sometimes because at least this is in our, my experience with players that are players that have gone. Sometimes they've gone because it's a little cheaper financially. Um, sometimes they've gone because uh, some of them academically, they need some work academically. They went to Juco's to get their grades up. Um, some have gone because they really wanted to go to division one level, but felt like they needed more time or development they went juco for that so there's a lot of reasons you can go and there's um there's not just those reasons but i'm all for it i think there's a right fit for every player uh, how many times have i fantasized about hitting a walk-off home run in game seven of the world series a lot all the time Uh, how do you get to the next level to playing college baseball? Uh, well, I mean, the easy answer is you have to be good enough. <laughs> um, that's the number one thing above everything else. Some people think it's all about exposure and all that stuff. Exposure means nothing if you don't have a ta the talent to play. So you've got to work, number one, on yourself getting better. And then and then you can work on the exposure part, getting, you know, reaching out to schools and, you know, putting a video together and getting in front of colleges. But You've got to be able to, you have to be good enough. How do you develop more power in your legs? Um, yeah, squats, deadlifts, uh, single leg lunges. Yeah, Arenado to the Dodgers. I mean, it's interesting. Um, he's obviously a great player. And, you know, Seager, what's, Seager's got one more year left in his contract and then he's gone. Um, I know he's played short, but I mean, the Dodgers are, I think everyone is interested in acquiring good players and the Dodgers have a lot of money that they can spend. So, um, it depends what they're going to do with Seager. Are they going to extend Seager? Are they going to let him walk? It might not even depend. They have so much money, it might not matter. Emery, thank you so much for another super chat. Matt, I just want to say thank you for being you. We appreciate your time and generosity of information from the big league perspective. Thank you. Well, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. My favorite player now? Uh, I like Mookie Betts. Uh, I like a lot. I mean, I like Mike Trout. I like um, Acuna. I like Soto. I like Tatis. I like Luis Robert. I like uh, Bo Bichette. I, like, I mean, I like a lot of players. Michael Kopik. Well, I think he throws really hard and he's really big. <laughs> um, I don't know. Hopefully he does well. Baez or Lindor? Now, Lindor is another guy I love. Um, I like Baez too. Man, they're both awesome with the glove. Um, I haven't looked at the numbers to see who's better, but I'll take either one of them. Uh, I think you need to go see a doctor. I am not qualified to help you. I like axe bats. The best tea drills? Um, it's hard for me to show them on here. Oh, I can't show them on here. Thanks, Dusty. <laughs> How am I not qualified? You are a hitting guy? I am a hitting guy. How greedy are rookies with the catering? Um, no, nah, I've never, I've never seen anybody go up to the food and just start like putting food in Ziploc bags and Tupperware to take home. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, there was a few times where I'd go and grab some extra food for breakfast in the morning if I was like on the road in the hotel. Furthest ball I ever hit, 
I don't know how far it went. Furthest ball I ever hit was, um, I think, probably the ball that Laura just sat down. She witnessed single A, Rancho Cucamonga. First pitch fastball, bases loaded, grand slam. I hit it. Maybe you guys can look this up. I don't know. Rancho Cucamonga, I hit it out of the stadium. There's a scoreboard in left field, and they hit it up over the scoreboard. And uh, it was one of the only – no, I shouldn't say it was one of the only balls, but it's one of the, one of the balls where I hit – I just hit it. I didn't even watch it. I just hit it and just immediately knew that the thing was crushed. And uh, that was a great feeling. And I never swung first pitch, like, really ever in my career. I started to a little bit as a professional, but that was first pitch fastball. Fastball down in the zone. And I – it felt so good, I didn't even feel it. It was like a dry swing. Swung, never felt to hit the bat. I went out. I didn't bat flip. I hit it, and then I just put the bat down, and I jogged and never looked at the ball. I just – round the bases. And then I knew I hit it really far. And then when I got back to the dugout, I said, where'd that ball go? And, and, and they said, it went over the scoreboard. It went out of here. Huh? Oh yeah. And I, I saw, before I went up that at bat, I, I saw Laura walk in there. This is weird, but um, I saw Laura walk into the stadium and it was like, what, like the sixth inning maybe? No, it was early. In. I think it was like the sixth inning. It was early. In. So after I hit my home run, I came back to the dugout and looked up in the stands, and she was looking down at me, and I gave her the old, you're about two hours late for this game. Is my wife British? Uh, our player swings different off tees. Some players don't like the tees. Some players do. I would say most players hit off the tee initially. Um, I always hit off a tee initially. I think that it, you know, having the ball on the tee allows me to really just kind of slow everything down, work on like just being slow and easy, moving the ball around, get loose, and then I go in the front toss. I think just hitting off the tee would not be good. Hey, what's up, Gabriel? Uh, Robinson Cano, Hall of Famer? Well, I think his numbers would say yes, but the fact that he's failed two drug tests would mean no. My favorite defensive stat? I don't know. I mean, I don't go by errors. What do they got now? UZR and all this stuff. I don't really need to... Personally, like, I don't need to evaluate defensive play, so I don't really get into the defensive stats very much. Like, if I was managing in the big leagues or doing something in the big leagues, I would look at that. But when I'm watching a major leaguer field, I just look at – I'm looking more at how can I learn from them so I can teach our players. So I'm looking at, you know, mechanics more. Do you think there's a place for shorter pitchers with the new launch angle approach of play? I don't think shortness of pitchers have anything to do with it. Um, but I think short. I think short. I, I, if you can pitch, you can pitch. I mean, I don't want a six-seven guy if he can't pitch. So, oh, we have a super chat. Hold on one second. EJ Slim, thank you so much, EJ. What would be a better baseball? Oh, who? Who would be a better baseball player, Skywalker or Potter? <laughs> um, I'm going to say Skywalker. I was never really into Harry Potter. Were you into Harry Potter? No. Nick Santa Barbara was. My best friend growing up was. I don't like fantasy stuff. Laura says she doesn't like fantasy stuff, yet Game of Thrones is like her favorite show of all time. I, last time I checked, there were dragons in that. Yeah. They weren't dragons? Oh, questions are going fast. Views on the Miami Marlins future. Uh, well, they got some nice young players, and they over. I mean, I don't know if I want to say overperform, but no one expected them to do what they did this year. So, which teammate or coach has helped me the most throughout my career? I would say Sean Wooten. Should kids play up a level? Um, I mean, they can. Says so the man that wants to put our six-year-old on a ten-year team. Yeah, I do. Um, listen, I think you play up when that's, here's the thing. You want to play with and against the best competition possible. 
So if that means you have to play up, then you can play up. Now, there's some people out there that make me mad because they're obsessed with playing up. Like that, that they just, they want to play. They think like, well, I have to play up. No, it's not all, not everyone should be playing up. Um, there are some players that absolutely should be playing up. You know, I run into some players where, or we play against some teams where they don't let, they want everyone to play down or play, you know, they want them to be as old as possible so that they, they're going to win more games. Like for me in our program, if a player is too good for his level, I'll tell him to play up. If he's not, I won't. EJ, thank you again. Thanks for answering. Now a serious question. Did you prefer spring training in Florida or Arizona? That's a great question, EJ. And I think I should make a video on that. Uh, But Laura just said Arizona. I don't know if you heard her, but yeah, Arizona. Definitely Arizona. Hi, Alan. Um, The great thing about Arizona is that, well, a couple of things. Uh, Everything is close. So the travel is super easy. Um, The weather, I like the weather in Arizona more. Uh, I know it's dry and hot, but not in, at least for me, in spring training, it isn't hot. It's beautiful. In Florida spring training, I felt like I was cold a lot at the beginning of spring training. Like you get out to the field at like 7 a.m. on a February day in Florida and it's chilly. I don't remember in Arizona, I mean, there might be a few days here and there, but I always felt like it felt a little warmer in Arizona. Now, you don't want to be in Arizona in the summer because when, when I, when Laura and I lived in Arizona for a summer, when I broke my hand and wrist and had to play in Arizona or had to rehab in Arizona, it was like 120 degrees and I felt like my face was burning off. Yeah, you couldn't even sit outside because you felt like you were Couldn't go outside. Boiler. It literally felt like you took your head and put the oven on 450 degrees and then stuck your head inside the oven. That's what it felt like going outside in the even summer. Even the dry heat didn't make a difference because it was still just hot. Yeah, there was a the dry heat. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Bruno. Uh, Broke my hand. Not my ribs, my wrist. Sorry. Uh, I broke my hand just by swinging. I broke, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see the, right there, see those stitches? Well, there's not stitches anymore, but you can see my scar from my stitches going up my hand. And then uh, see my wrist, that scar that goes like that. So I broke my hand just from swinging. I broke my wrist, or I didn't break my wrist. I, um... I had wrist surgery, but I didn't technically break it. I broke my hand. Uh, my hand will bother me if I, huh? No. My hand will bother me if I take a lot of, if I hit a lot of ground balls. I mean a lot. And then some days, if it's like cold, sometimes if the weather's kind of bad, it'll bother me a little bit. But it's not terrible. It'll just be a little achy. Yeah, my my wrist, my hand and wrist do notify me if it's going to rain. Hey, Josh Davis, thank you so much for the super chat. Super chat. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. That is an amazing super chat. That's one of the one of the bigger super chats we've gotten, I believe. Two questions: Should Andy Pettit be in the Hall of Fame, and when is Cowboy Matt making his return? Um, so Andy Pettit, I'd have to look at his numbers. Andy Pettit was a great pitcher. Andy Pettit tested positive for steroids, didn't he? Was he for the Yankees? But yeah, for the Yankees, left-handed for the Yankees. Great pickoff move, by the way. <laughs> Andy got a lot of guys. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? I forgot now. Oh, yeah, he got he tested positive, but said uh, said it was for coming back from injury. Right, that's what they all say. Um, off the top of my head, I'll say no. I'd have to look at it more. And when's Cowboy Matt coming back? If we get if we get locked down again in Massachusetts and I can't go to work for three months, like we couldn't go to work in April, May, and June, then Cowboy Matt will be back. Yay. Laura loved playing uh, Red Dead with me. Hi, Wade. Wade. Not that Wade. Why is the intro of your videos? Are you eating your hands? I'm not. I'm putting chewing tobacco in my mouth. I'm pretending to. Cowboy Matt can't come back now because I have a real job that is that I'm very busy. We don't have our PlayStation here. What's 9 plus 10? 26? 
Yeah, I played Red Dead, Red Dead all the time. I didn't get a PS5 yet. I'm asking Santa for it. Is Santa bringing me a PS5? No. Uh, I use glove conditioner, yeah. I have been to South Carolina. Yes, I have. Do clubhouses have dip in them? They don't give you dip, no. I mean, you can get dip. If you want, if you get to a game and you need dip, you just tell the clubby to go get you some dip and they'll go get it for you. Is progression in baseball more hard work than talent? Well, I think it's both. You have to have some talent, but you need to work hard as well. If you're talented and you don't do anything, you're not going to make it very far. If you work really hard, but you have no talent, you're not going to make it very far either, but... Uh, can you send me a video of your swing? Yeah, you can try. Send it to, uh, go to, on my Instagram and send it to me. I get a million of them, so it's hard for me to get back to everybody. But maybe you'll get lucky and I'll, I'll be bored one day and can go through. I'm not really ever bored, but. Yeah, so if you ask a clubby to get you something, usually how it happens is, um, you'll, What's so funny? Nothing. Usually what happens is, uh, like, you'll just give the clubby, like, 20 bucks, you know, whatever, and just say, hey, can you go grab me a couple of these things? That's how it works. I think Robinson Cano is a Hall of Famer based on his numbers, but not that he, now that he tested positive twice, no. Hit how often in the offseason? I don't know. Like, you don't have to hit every day. I, in the offseason, I probably hit three, four times a week. Um... And then when I got close to going into the season, I hit more than that. Uh, I have, yeah, so I have been buying basketball cards. I've bought some basketball cards lately. Um, I've gotten back into cards. I started with baseball, and then I, I used baseball as kind of a way to start to try to understand how this whole market was going to work. And then what I've realized is that you can't really just invest in one sport. You can if you want. Um, but what I'm realizing now is that, you know, there's every, every sport so far, if you look at baseball, basketball, football, there's been a run up into the season. And then after a couple weeks of the season, the stocks decline when the season ends, they continue to go down. Then they kind of plateau. And now they start to come back up like basketball starting is starting to get ramped up again. And so, um, I've thought about different ways to do it. So like basketball, I started ba buying basketball about a month ago. So I bought some LeBron James rookies. I bought um, Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, um, Bam Adebayo, uh, Kobe Bryant. Um, I've gotten some other guys as well. And those have started to rise. And then I've got a couple different, I've got a couple different strategies of like my LeBrons, I'm probably going to hold on to. Um, some of my other guys, I might end up selling depending on how high they go. And then I'll use that money to be able to buy baseball cards. If I knew this, if we could rewind and I could have known this before, I would have sold like my Mookie Betts and my Clayton Kershaw when they made it to the World Series. I would have sold it like, I would have sold it right before the World Series ended. What I've realized is like it doesn't even matter if you win. Like Mookie Betts, Clayton Kershaw, their cards went up. The second they won the World Series, their cards dropped like 30%, like that. Um, LeBron James, when LeBron James won the World, oh, the World Series, when they won the NBA championship, his cards dropped, just like everybody else has dropped. So what do they say? Buy the rumor, sell the news. That's what I've learned. Does hard work beat talent in baseball? Uh, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I think I heard that somewhere, but you got to have talent. Um, I know lots of player people that worked really hard. They didn't really make it very far because they weren't very good. They worked really hard, so you got to have both, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, I like Jack Flaherty. I have a Jack Flaherty card. Uh, let me see if I missed any Super Chats. Hold on one second, guys.
I did. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, vehicle ranks. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'm excited for my Mets off season. Yeah, Mets are going to start spending some money, I think. Uh, Hobby Kid. Thank you for the super chat. Hobby Kid, there's no um, question there, though. Um, did you have a question? Oh, here's one. What other sports do you like? I'm a huge football fan. I'm a basketball fan. Um, those are my two favorite sports. I'm addicted to football. I love baseball. And I, I love basketball. Football is my favorite. I am addicted to football. Um, I know the most about baseball, so... Like, I would love to coach... I would love to coach football. But my problem is, if I'm going to coach something... Like, my dad always tries to get me to coach high school football. If I'm going to coach something, I'm going to have to be really good at it, so I'd have to give all my time to it, which means I couldn't do baseball. Um... Yeah, Pats, I know, minus two tomorrow. Listen, I don't condone betting. Um, my thoughts on the Patriots game tomorrow, guys, if I had to tell you. I'm usually pretty good with this stuff. We did it a lot last year, and I usually hit pretty good. Here's my thoughts on the Patriots game tomorrow. Not that anyone cares. But you've got the Patriots in a must-win game against a Texans team that's 2-7. and seven. You've got a Patriots team that is that can run the ball. You got a Texans team that's last in the league defending the run. Um, you've got a Texans team that can't run the ball. You got a Patriots defense that is okay at stopping the run, but is better stopping the pass. And you got a Texans team that can stop the pass, oh, that can pass a little bit, not great. I think the Pats are gonna win. Um, I would personally take the Pats um, minus two. And, um, uh, the only, I mean, the only thing that scares me is that Deshaun Watson sometimes can be Superman. And even though, um, wow, the game opened Houston minus two. I wish I knew that. Um, the only thing that scares me is that Deshaun Watson can be Superman sometimes, but I don't think he's going to be Superman. I don't think, I just don't think the Texans are very good. Um, they can't run the ball on offense. They can only throw or Deshaun runs. And I feel like if you're going to be one-dimensional against the Patriots, uh, it's not going to – I mean, in the Pats, our strength is in our – typically in our defensive backs and our secondary. we got some super chats here. Josh Davis, thank you so much for the super chat again. Does a signed Chris Parmalee rookie card have any value or should I throw it in the garbage? I would say probably throw it in the garbage, but um, why not – Coach baseball high school. Uh, I do coach baseball high school. I was talking about football high school. Baseball. What age should you start to throw curveballs? Uh, when you throw it correctly. I mean, we have 12 year olds that throw it correctly. So, what'd you say, five? You try and teach me to curveball. I do. I taught my son how to throw a curveball, and he's at probably about five years old, but. Do I hate the Dolphins? I don't hate the Dolphins, no. I hate when the Patriots go to Miami and lose all the time, but I don't hate the Dolphins. What age should you start going to showcases? Um, when you feel that it's worth sh um, showcasing yourself. Some kids go to showcases and they're terrible. I'm like, what are we showcasing here? Are you showcasing how bad you are? It makes no sense. So you have to be... Um, you have to be good enough to showcase. So that all depends on why do I only answer simple questions? Why do you only ask simple questions? I don't know. Um, I, answer, well, I answer the question just so everyone knows. I answer the ones that I can see. If you send me like a paragraph question, I can't see it. It goes by too fast, so I don't answer. Um, so about showcases. Matthew, if, if you... It depends how good you are. You know, like if you're one of the best players in the country, you're going to want to get out and showcase yourself earlier because schools are going to take you earlier. Um, most players should showcase themselves their sophomore and junior year of high school, I would say. Uh, my next big baseball card purchase. So I just got a couple baseball cards. Not just got them, but like... Over the last few weeks, um, I have not shown any of those. I'm going to save that to show on here. But um, I mean, most of the cards that I'm getting 
for baseball are young, exciting players, which I think everyone knows about. I'm not trying to, I mean, yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got a Wander Franco card. I've got a Julio Rodriguez cards. Um, I got an Adley Rushman, Adley Rushman card. Um, but that's like, I got a card here and there, those guys. If you want cards, Soto, Tatis, in my opinion, Acuna. I even think Luis Robert. Um, obviously, Mike Trout, but they're, they're expensive. <laughs> I don't hate Vince Scully now. Are college camps for chumps? No, I don't think so. I think running to every college camp is for chumps. Some people get you know, an email and they're like, oh, I got to go. This college wrote me an email. Yeah, they wrote you and every other kid in the country. So don't do that. But if the college is a college that you're interested in and you think you can play there, you have the ability, then that's fine to go to. Josh Davis, thank you so much for the super chat, Josh. Uh, Josh, um, simple question. What's your favorite crayon color? Blue. My favorite color is blue. Um, I like black and gold for, we went black and gold for jerseys, but our original colors for our program were red, white, and blue. And then we changed because I had to change. They were? Yeah. Yes, they were. I designed the uniforms and the logo. I don't ever remember us. Being remember the red, the Northeast elite team, the red, white, and blue? Uh, John Boy Media question. Do you pod, do a podcast question? I'm Ron Burgundy question. Um, Jesse, were you saying, do I know John Boy? I don't know John. I know I've seen his channel, but I don't know him. Do I like Cam Newton? I really like Cam Newton. I do. I'll say this. I did not like Cam Newton when he was with the Panthers. I thought it was all about him and I didn't like his antics and all that. You know, but now he's with the Patriots, and I, I follow him more. I listen to more of his interviews, and I, uh, I actually really, really like him. You bandwagoner. I'm not a bandwagoner at all. I have a different perspective on the guy. I mean, I, I follow him all the time now. Tips for going number one overall in the NFL. Uh, be really big. Be really fast. Be really strong. You like that, Laura? What do you think of the Yankee, Jason Dominguez? I think he's a Martian. Ah, no, I think, I think he's, I mean, I think he has the tools to be really, really good. I've never seen him play, I've never seen him play in a game. I don't think really anyone has. So, be, why are both our children up? Um, being, uh, having a, a talent and then being able to perform in a game at a major league level are two very different things. So, we'll see how he does. Um, I started on varsity. So I played varsity my freshman year, but I didn't start on varsity. I started actually on JV and then they called me up and then, um, we won the state championship my freshman year. So we we're really good. I, um, I did start not all the time and I started in the outfield. Our kids went to bed an hour ago and for some reason they're laughing and running around upstairs. That's an evil laugh he has. Sorry, guys. I got distracted there. Kyle Lewis. I love Kyle Lewis's swing. I think he's a great player. Do I think Kyle? Do I think Kyler Murray is going to be better than Russell Wilson? Uh, it's hard to be better than Russell Wilson. He has been unbelievable. I think Kyler Murray is super talented, but I think Russell Wilson is un unbelievable. But man, Murray, Murray's a stud. Will the Mets go for Arenado? I don't know. I mean, I think the Rockies would like to get rid of him and get, um, you know, I think they'd like to get his contract off their books and, and pick up some, some young players. But um, the Mets could be a team that um, may do it. If Matt does more chores, will Laura go on camera? I don't think Laura's ever going on camera. Would I ever be on a reality show? Um, 
the pens. Well, I'm way behind on the questions, guys. Holy crap. We're getting a lot of questions here. How do you build arm strength? Uh, I always like... I think arm strength is, you know, you've got to throw first, throw, right? Like, I always think, like, why do Dominican kids throw so hard? Because they throw an awful lot. Like, they're always throwing growing up. So I think throwing, um, you know, long toss, throwing the ball hard. If I want to throw the ball hard, i got to practice throwing the ball hard. And then I think some of it is obviously what's your arm action, what's your mechanics. You can get help from a coach. Sometimes you throw enough and you just naturally start to figure out your body and how it works. Um... Super Bowl predictions? I would love the Patriots and the Bucks to be in the Super Bowl. I mean, that's that's what I'm I'm really praying for that. I mean, I think that's going to be pretty difficult, but Okay, but please get Um I think the Chiefs offense is so so hard to stop. I just I know the Steelers are undefeated, but I think the Chiefs are just You just got to pray when you're playing the Chiefs that they just somehow like get sick or um well, that you can't, I mean, their offense is unbelievable. Or you got to have Belichick as your, as your coach who can figure out a way to shut them down. And then in the NFC, um, I mean, the Saints are really good. Now they got Drew Brees hurt. I'll cross the Saints off. Packers with Rodgers. And maybe you got I, Russell Wilson always scares me. So I don't want to play the Seahawks ever, even though their defense kind of stinks this year. Um, but man, that offense, when Chris Carson's healthy and Carlos Hyde played pretty well last week, and then you've got Metcalf and you've got Lockett and, uh, then you got to cover, then you got to stop Wilson. That's a really good offense. Then you got Brady with his offense, man, I don't know. What is my favorite animal? Cheetah. Was I rooting for the Royals in 14 and 15? I was rooting for the Royals. Oh, I shouldn't say rooting, but yeah, I wanted to see them win, I guess. What kind of contract do you think King of Virginia would command in his prime? Um, in his prime? 10 years, 400 million. Are we talking about like, no, nah, that's probably a little aggressive, 10 years, 400 billion. I'll give him forty million per in his prime. Like, gonna hit me fifty homers. Baker Mayfield thoughts. Um, oh, I have a super chat, guys. Hold on one sec. Uh, Baker Mayfield thoughts. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't watch the Browns a ton. I have been watching Building the Browns. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Building the Browns on YouTube. It's really, I think it's a really good show. I love those type of shows, behind the scenes type stuff. I love it. Um, he smiles at the TV. I do. Watch. Laura always says, why are you smiling? I just watch it. And I have like a weird, awkward smile because I'm so in love with those shows. And she always looks at me and she goes, you're so weird. Why are you <laughs> smiling at the TV? I say, because I love this. I, I like listening to this crap. Is Aaron Rodgers a Hall of Famer? Yeah, absolutely. There's no question. Aaron Rodgers a Hall of Famer. He can stop playing right now. He's going to Hall of Fame. Aaron Rodgers is one of the most talented quarterbacks to ever play. Okay, Super Chats. Josh Davis, thank you so much, Josh. You're going to have to go get a second job after this, after all these Super Chats. Thank you. Sorry for my dumb questions. So tired of uh, my brother and his family lived in Salisbury. Oh, my family, some of my family lived in Salisbury too. So I'm definitely aware of how things are there. I hope you and your family have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Thanks, Josh. You too. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'm, on, I'm in Salisbury. I shouldn't say all the time, but we're up there. Um, we live somewhat close. And uh, like I said, some of our family lives there. Is Miles Garrett a Hall of Famer? Miles Garrett has Hall of Fame ability, but he just has to to play in the Hall of Fame. I mean, to make it to the Hall of Fame, you got to do it for a long time. Um, but he's a freak show. What's he got? Nine and a half sacks so far this year, I think. Um, watch Building the Browns, and you'll you find out you what is going on right now. There's no control in this house, guys. There's no control. Who are the parents in this house? 
Well, my daughter just strolled downstairs. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Guys. I think this is a big joke. This is the inmates running the... Uh... Oh, my God. Laura threat. Good night. <laughs> Laura just said, if you don't get in bed right now, you won't have ice cream tomorrow. And my daughter turned and sprinted up the stairs 100 miles an hour. If you want them to do something, just threaten taking ice cream away. Uh, let's see. Joe Burrow thoughts. Uh, Joe Burrow, I mean, I haven't actually even watched the Bengals play this year because they stink, but um, Joe Burrow is going to be a beast. Are your kids crazy? Well, I think you guys can tell. All right, EB5755, see you later. I've answered like 50 of your questions tonight. Are you getting mad that I didn't answer a question? I've answered like 50 of them. What's up? Hey, RC from the NYC, what's going on? What's up, Matt? Hi, Laura. Hi, Matt's kids. Play nice. What's up, Chad? Hope everyone's well and safe. Happy Thanksgiving all. Thank you, RC. You too. Get back downstairs again. Do I have to take control here? What do you want me to do? They don't listen. I don't know. They're your kids. <laughs> well, looking at her. <laughs> I, I did work with Bobby Dickerson a lot. I really like working with Bobby Dickerson. You've been <laughs> doing this for over an hour? <laughs> <laughs> I have. You've been doing that for over an hour. I have. An hour and 67 minutes. Yeah, I think, his, I think he's a one-timer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No ice cream tomorrow. I eat all the ice cream. Yep. All the ice cream's going to me. Uh, let's see. If you think he looks like me, you haven't seen my wife. Because he looks identical to my wife. Although, people say that me and her look alike. So, But he looks just... He's the spinning image of my wife. My daughter looks just like me. Yeah, maybe they had too much ice cream tonight. Um, my son plays baseball. My daughter's too young to play, but. All right, everyone, we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna go for 200 thumbs ups on the videos. So we need 200 likes. Can we get it? I think we can. Uh, I think Cody Bellinger is just a one-time thing. I think he's going to come back and hit well, although he's out ten, like 10 weeks, I think, with shoulder surgery. Oh, we got 193. Oh, we got 201. Look at how easy that was. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Uh, let's see. Um, I've never met Bartolo Colon, but I've played against him. I had to face him twice. All right, guys, we'll do like a few more minutes. And I, I think I have to go and take care of my kids because if, if I don't put them to bed, Laura keeps putting them to bed, but they keep running down. They're not really listening to her. So I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to take control of this house in a minute. Um, I have not met Clayton Kershaw, but I've played against him also. Player from the Mexican League can go to the MLB. Uh, well, I mean, players do play in the Mexican League that are in the MLB, but... Would I rather have a player who throws 95 with little control, a guy who sits in the A's with great control? Um, at what level? In the Major League level? If you don't have control, you're not going to be able to pitch very well, even if you throw 95. If you throw in the 80s, if you're like 85, and you have great control, it's going to have to be... I mean, it has to be... If you're going to survive in the MLB throwing 85, it's got to be, like, amazing, amazing control. So if it's amazing control, 
I'll take that guy. Matt, don't like beans. Why? What are you talking about? Oh, at the college level? At the college level, I'll take the guy with control that throws in the mid-80s. I don't need a guy throwing 95 in college that can't throw a strike. I mean, yeah, his upside would be huge if you can get him to throw a strike. But if you're just telling me that he ain't going to throw strikes, I can't put him in the game. Best MLB player, uh, Mike Trout. I just lost a fan. Why did I lose a fan? Um, I wouldn't say Aaron Judge is a bust, but he just he needs to be able to stay healthy. My craziest autograph request, I signed a, a prosthetic um, limb before. Bauer, where will he go? I'll, I'll, go, I'll say the Mets. Oregon State baseball is awesome. They were awesome. All right, a few more questions, then I'm going to go upstairs real quick. Why don't some teams let... Why don't some teams let guys play winter ball? I'm not sure. My team's always said I could play winter ball. I started lifting when I was 16. Lindor to the Yankees? That would be interesting. I mean, I've got a nice, I've got a nice Lindor rookie card, which is like there's only like two hundred and there's like only two hundred and something of them, and so I hope he goes to the biggest market team possible. I'd like him to go to the Yankees. Springer to Toronto, maybe. Best pitcher I ever got a hit off? Well, Greg Maddox, I guess, because he's going to Hall of Fame. But um, I have hits off. Good pitchers I have hits off. I have hits off of um, Maddox, uh, Verlander. Um, those might be the two best pitchers I've had hits off of. Cost of playing tonight baseball, it depends on which team you're playing on. Um, but typically, I would say the costs for us are probably very similar to every other team in our area. Like, I don't try to charge. Actually, Juan always tells us tells me that we don't charge enough because we probably do charge less than a lot of teams. But it's anywhere from like two to 3000 usually to play. And that covers everything. All your winter workouts, spring, summer, uniforms, tournaments, and every other thing that comes with playing, so... Uh, Nick Saban or Bear Bryant? I mean, Bear Bryant is considered one of the best. I think Nick Saban's unbelievable. I think he is definitely one of the best ever. So, All right, last question here, guys. I don't like beans. I played high school baseball, football, and hockey. Uh, Manny Ramirez. Dan's Dailies, thank you so much, Dan, for the super chat. I had to step away for a sec because I'm at work, so I don't know if this has been asked, but have you gotten a PS5 yet? And if not, you got I have not got one yet. Um, I have not gotten one, but I would like to get one. Laura keeps telling me I can't get one. $3,000 got to come with a car. You'd be surprised. $3,000, it might sound like a lot, but what we... Again, that come, you get 30 indoor practices on a turf field and a batting cage, and then you get you know practice outdoors during the season. You get four games on a weekend, or if you're on a tournament team, you get a tournament each weekend, and then you get coaching, obviously. You get you know two uniforms and practice gear and bat bags. and all, When you put it all together, it's actually it's not that much. So... Every team's different, though. Some teams don't practice very much. We practice a lot. I mean, our teams practice, you know, 45 times in a year. Um, yeah, exactly. Like Juan just said, we're cheap for our area when you factor what we get. We are, like, we are probably cheaper than a lot of the programs. So it, it depends on where you're from, but then also what you're getting, I guess. All right, guys. 
Um, well, thank you so much, everyone, for, uh, for, for hanging out and for asking all the questions. I appreciate it. Thank you to everyone for the super chats. We'll do this again, uh, probably. I've been trying to, I've actually tried to get back on a, a roll of going once a week. I did it last Friday, I think, and then today. So I'll try to do it again next week. Um, depends when I get my kids in bed early enough. So anyways, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. Hope you all have a great night. Uh, have a happy Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you before then. And uh, I like Juventus. That's my grandparents' favorite team, so I do like them. Um, that's all we have. We'll talk to you later.